Welcome in everyone to the Sir D and Wild Show. This is Sir D here and this is Star Trek Elite Command. And uh, we've got some littles in our alliance that need a little bit of help with their uh, officer stuff and how they work on their ships and stuff. And, you know, generally we don't do a lot of uh, lower level stuff because, well, I'm Ops 49 <laughs> and Wild's Ops 40. So we don't have a lot of need to do a lot of lower level stuff. But every alliance has them, every server has them, littles are all over the place, it's how the game starts, you know, for everybody. Everybody starts out a little, you need littles to make the game go, so you can't neglect your littles. You gotta teach them how to play too. And okay, you know, the ships and all this stuff underneath, if you haven't been playing for a while and you don't really know... You know how the officers and, and their stats and stuff work. A lot of this stuff can seem just, you know, kind of Chinese. Like, what is that? What, what does this mean? 300% of what? What's that do? Yeah. And why does it change when you add certain officers? No, why does this number change when you add certain officers? And stuff like that. You know, all that fun stuff. So we're going to put a bigger ship on and hopefully we can... Dumb dump these guys down and generally speaking I can max out the stats for a ship just throwing Grush on there. But see I'm, I'm almost dead right there. <laughs> so, But we can actually show our example with this since Grush isn't maxing us out. So we'll go ahead and we'll confirm this for now. And we'll go in here. And I know we were talking about ships, and you're like, Deep, so why are we going to the officer's tab? Well, we were discussing the officer's stats as well, you know, and how they affect your ship. And how your ship affects your officers. As we can see here, we've got a few 30 level maxed out officers. And you can see uh, some of these, their stats are, st stats. <laughs> their stats are fairly low. And other of these, who, who have uh, these letters by their names or by their or on their tags their numbers are like just crazy out there and the reason for this is because they're on a ship these guys aren't these guys are you see even uncommon Tilly has more stats than rare chain and now if she wasn't on a ship she wouldn't but since she is she does because all those nifty bonuses and officer stat bonuses that we've been accumulating all this time now take effect. As soon as you put them on a ship, boom. They go, hey, <laughs> remember all those stats you've been working on? Here they are. Okay, now your Let's get this off here. Okay, now your ship alone comes with its base stats. And those can be found here with no officers on. You can see everything that it comes with. Okay, and this is what you're you're left with for whatever tier you are. You get your, your regular strength of your ship. And then all of the stats that come with it. Let's make sure we're still recording. Okay, we are still recording. <laughs> Just making sure, guys. Okay, so you got your base stats that you're working with for your ship. And we'll go ahead and throw... Well, let's see if we can make this lower. We are on strength, so... Let's go way down here and somebody not that high there we go okay now your uh, ship has its own set of mitigation stats and stuff like that that it uses to make the combat triangle work and we can see that let's see. sorry I'm back out of here again and you can see these you know like say uh, this is an interceptor so it's gonna have a better uh, accuracy of dodge to help it uh, give it the things it needs to give it that bonus that it gets during combat, which is the part of the combat triangle. Uh, this thing's going to have better accuracy of dodge. Your battleship's going to have better uh, armor and hull, and your uh, uh, your explorer is going to have better shields. And that's just the way how the combat triangle kind of sets itself out, lays itself out, and how it works. And then. You get to add your own mitigating stats to the ship. It can carry so much, and once you're maxed out, 
like say doing this would do maxes me out adding more oh sorry now I maxed out adding more is not going to change the power of the ship I can add as many as I want and see that number does not change Get up, get up, get up, get up, get up. Okay. Now, if you add this, 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 see that number keeps changing because I still had stats to put in. Now, as soon as that's all green, and this is all green, then adding more stats is not going to change the power of your ship. It's not changing anything unless unless you are uh, using an officer that is using these stats. Now if you say you got like five on board and she is using all the health of all the officers on the ship then yeah you want to stack health like it's no tomorrow. You want to go like where is it? health I'm gonna dump these guys and just go mad health because even though your health is maxed out in mitigation and your officer stats are, you know, are maxed out for, for mitigation you're still adding more and more health for five to use because she is using in fact all the op all the health of all the officers on your ship so you know you got 87 here and you're not even trying for these two. You're just trying to get this as high as possible. You got 125 for health. So, 5 gets to use all that. Even though your ship's mitigation and stuff like that isn't. This is why sometimes it's beneficial to run more stats than is than your ship can handle. But most of the time, generally speaking, if you're not running an officer like this, then it doesn't matter. Like I said, it doesn't matter if you're not using an officer that doesn't require these stats. So, you know... You don't need to pull a bunch of officers on your ship, off your other ships, to fill these slots if you're not running an officer that uses them. So I could run like this, you know, of course I'd want somebody else up here too, but I could run with these two, nothing down here. Because I'm not trying to add any more stats. I don't have anybody that's going to use them. So, that's how that works. <laughs> that's how your officers work and how the stats work on your ship. And why dumping more in when it's not needed isn't necessary unless you're running an officer that requires it. Or is using it. Like Spock over here will use defense. Oh, that's the wrong one. Spock over there will use... Oh, he's using health too. So yeah, he's... No, no, that's restoring health. Or the, of the defense of all the officers on the ship. So he's, he's using defense. So you'd want to load defense to make his stuff work better. You're running him. So, yeah. So, for all of you lower level players that are thinking all that stuff down there is Chinese, I mean, it's just max your ship out, and as soon as you're done, unless you got an officer that's using it, load that stuff with lower deck abilities because you don't need the stats. So, yeah, there you go. And uh, that will conclude our uh, newbie officers video for this evening, and I hope it was informative to all of you. If you like the content, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment down below if you have any questions. And uh, feel free to join our Discord, because it's there and people do it. So, uh, yeah. Peace. We're out.